So this is going to need more than a minute because we have to have a discussion here. So I want you to take out any of your predispositions of what I am going to say and I want you to listen. So there are a lot of people on the internet that always say that WWE cannot build new stars. That it's always going to be rehashes or people from other companies and blah blah blah. Here is why you have this perception. This. Braun Breaker is nuts and bolts, cookie cutter, a star. And now people are booing him and saying Braun Breaker sucks. Just like John Cena. You see why it's hard for WWE to do this? We dictate who we want to be stars. What changed with Breaker? Nothing. Nothing. He wins all the time. Duh. He's the main star. Of course he's gonna win all the time. Do you pe- Are you stupid? Like, legitimately, are you people that dumb that you're saying, oh, you can't say the same thing where they're trying to build stars like Braun Breaker, like Carmelo Hayes. How long does it take for you guys to fucking turn on him? It's not going to be long. I like Breaker, but he needs to drop this belt so he can go up to the main roster because that's where he belongs now. God, it's so frustrating with you mongoloids online sometimes. But don't worry. Even though I called you a mongoloid and insulted your intelligence, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. Tiger Height will pave the way to the truth because that's what I always do. So he's in the ring talking about, well, he never said Carmelo Hayes there, but he definitely was implying Carmelo Hayes. But that brought out Jinder Mahal. And Jinder Mahal challenges Braun Breaker for the title next week. And Jinder Mahal even implied about the booing and the Braun Breaker sucks thing. Which I actually thought led to some good stuff within the context of this promo. But just the fickleness of you people is just annoying. There's a reason why we don't have the stars like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock anymore. You are the reason for it. Period. Anyway, the promo itself was fine, just... Breaker needs maybe a mouthpiece. I think it might actually benefit him to have a mouthpiece, to have a manager, do do something. Goddamn, put him with uh, Cora Jade. They're dating already, and Cora Jade is kind of in the ring. Maybe she'd be a good valet. Meh, I still liked it. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up, and to be honest, that's being nice.